Hey, what is up YouTube? Lando Tech here. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect your Google Home to your Google TV. And if you have a Google Nest device, you'll be able to use commands like this. Hey Google, turn off my TV. But before I show you how to do that, all I ask in return is for you to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. First, ensure your Google TV, your Google Nest, and your smartphone are all connected to the same Wi-Fi network. On your smartphone, install the Google Home app, either from the Play Store or the App Store. Then, once the download is complete, go ahead and open the Google Home app. Tap Get Started. Next, then allow notifications. At the Choose Account screen, Ensure that you log in with the same account that you've logged into your Google TV and your Google Nest with. If prompted, tap Turn On to turn on Bluetooth and tap Allow. Tap Next at the Location Access screen. Then select While Using the App. If you're like me, you're probably a little apprehensive when it comes to giving out your location information to apps, especially Google Apps. If that sounds like you, just do what I do. Use a VPN to mask your location. I have a discount link for NordVPN in my description below if you want to give that a try. When you've arrived at the main screen of the Google Home app, you'll see a now playing preview if you're currently watching something on Google TV. If you tap on it, you'll be given the option to pause, fast forward, rewind, and adjust the volume. If you weren't playing anything on your TV and didn't see a preview, then tap the devices tab. From here, you should see your Google TV device and you'll even be able to toggle it on and off. If your Google TV isn't showing up on the list, tap Add at the bottom right of the screen, tap Google Nest or Partner Device, tap Next, then follow the on-screen steps that pop up to locate and connect your Google TV to your Google Home app. Once your Google TV has been added, press and hold on it. Then tap Open Remote. This sends a pairing code to your TV. Type the code displaying on your TV into the app, then tap Pair. The remote allows you to swipe in any direction to navigate around the Google TV interface. But if you prefer the old fashioned direction pad, then tap the three lines at the top right and select D-pad control. Aside from the directional controls, you can also control the volume with the virtual remote and the power. You even have a Google Assist button that allows you to speak commands to your Google TV. Speaking of speaking commands, if you have a Google Nest, you can use hands-free voice commands like, Hey Google, open YouTube. Or, Hey Google, pause that video. You can also use these commands to do things like adjust the volume, mute the volume, and turn the TV on and off. Most people use the Google Home app to replace a broken remote. But, if you haven't tossed that broken remote out just yet, then watch this video right here to learn how to possibly fix it.